I'd like to introduce you to the impressive new Snap to Item function in iPad OS 17. This is the new tool that's going to revolutionize eye tracking access to the iPad on made for iPad certified eye trackers such as the TD Pilot from Toby Dynavox. It works by automatically identifying clickable areas on the screen such as buttons, keyboard keys and menu items. It then makes selecting these regions much easier by snapping your gaze into these buttons. Activating it is a case of going to the iOS settings, going to the accessibility menu, from there going into touch, then assistive touch. Scroll down until you find devices. Here you will find the made for iPad certified Toby Dynavox Pilot. Open this up and then you'll get exclusive menu items including snap to item but also the new auto hide feature. We're going to go into a live demo now but before we start it is important to know that this functionality of snapping into an item or what we call region based interaction has always been available in Toby Dynavox's software on the TD Pilot i.e. TD Talk and TD Snap. You'll see here that it's locking into the regions of the buttons and making selection very easy for me. I want lunch. However, before iOS 17, for some users outside of our communication software, things could be a little more tricky. So this is me in the iOS environment and you can see I'm effectively controlling a mouse cursor. So it doesn't depend on a degree of accuracy. As I'm typing, I'm able to hit the buttons I'm looking for, but as you can see, I'm not banging the centre of them. So if I had any further accuracy issues, it might be that I wasn't able to hit the targets I was going for. I've got access to nice features such as continuous scroll. And whilst I'm able to hit small targets here, in some instances, these can be tricky. Let's have a look at the way things used to work in third party EC and AAC apps. So in Housemate, for example, you see I'm controlling a cursor and I've got nice big buttons. So I am able to activate the selections, but I'm not being drawn into the buttons like I would be in the TD AAC apps. Let's look at the experience in Grid for iPad before iOS 17 and Snap to Item. So you see again, I'm using a mouse cursor. Uh, to make those selections and I am able to hit the buttons here but I'm not being drawn into the centre of them um, and I think uh, my calibration may be off but over to the side of the screen I am having a little bit of difficulty making uh, a selection of the place that I want to go I'm actually trying to get shop here uh, but struggling to get there I'm not being drawn into it If we look at the position with Predictable before iOS 17, you'll see it's a very similar thing. Um, again, using a mouse cursor, not being drawn into the buttons, having a bit of a problem there, getting the H, but get there eventually. Um, I think we can see from this that it's always been possible to use third-party uh, communication apps with the TD Pilot, but I would say it's not been ideal. Hopefully, when we turn on the Snap to Item feature, you'll really see what I would consider to be a profound difference, which is going to make it much easier to say, yes, I could use these apps. So now I've turned on Apple's Snap to Item function, and I hope you can see through these next few demos just what an incredible difference this makes to eye tracking accessibility, both in the iPad operating system but also uh, across a range of third-party environmental control and AAC apps. Starting with a bit of web browsing, I've done some shopping on Amazon and now I'm off to the BBC website. You'll see I'm getting a box around uh, each of the letters in a colour of my choosing. This is much, much easier to type. I'm also getting that same box around each of the web links and pictures so I can make selections easy. Even when I go to the assistive touch menu, you can see that all of the selections there also have that snap to item box around them. I've been extremely impressed by some of the region identification that uh, the snap to item function has been able to do. 
In this instance, for example, it's a chess app that's actually been designed for an iPhone, um, but the Snap to Item feature has done an incredible job of uh, identifying the regions and made the game so easy to play. Here I am controlling my environment with the Alexa app, turning lights on, and I can see that the region identification from Snap to Item is really, really good. So making selections is incredibly easy. Now I'm on FaceTime, again using Snap to Item. You can see I'm able to independently initiate a call with my colleague Joe and then hang up when we're finished. Hey Joe, how are you? Hey John. Yeah, it's yeah, good to see you. Right. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can hang up with these regions. Oh. When reading an ebook or watching a video, the cursor could be a bit of a distraction. So the new iOS 17 auto hide feature will hide the cursor. In this instance, I put it as a hot corner. So I'm activating it now. And that means that when I'm watching the video on Netflix here, I haven't got a cursor that's going to distract my view. Looking again at the third party environmental control and AAC apps, let's start with Housemade. You'll see that I have the snap to item function successfully identifying all the regions within Housemade and this makes activating buttons much easier. It's a very similar story with Grid for iPad. Here you can see the region identification from Snap to Item is working very well indeed. This is making building the same sentence as I did earlier much, much easier. So if there's a particular voice, symbol set or vocabulary that I need to use in Grid for iPad, I'm able to use it on the TD Pilot. If I've previously banked my voice with Speak Unique and I want to use their AAC app, you can see here that I can interact with all of the buttons on the screen and type on the keyboard with snap to item support and find accessing this software much, much easier than it previously would have been. Hello. It's very much the same picture if you're a predictable user. Here, once again, snap to item has done a fabulous job at identifying all the buttons all of the keyboard letters and all of the prediction cells to make accessing this software much easier. Hopefully you've been able to see that the difference between iOS 16 eye tracking and iOS 17 eye tracking is like night and day. How are you today? We should say that the regions identified by Snap to Item are not always perfect. And you might go find yourself going on certain apps or certain websites where it's not made the best job. However, it's entirely possible to switch in a second between the mouse cursor mode and the Snap to Item mode and back again. So one of the things we suggest is setting up that action to switch toggle modes uh, as a hot corner action. While Snap to Item is huge news and a real step forward for eye tracking access on the iPad, there are some caveats. Firstly, while Snap to Item is similar to our own region based interaction in TD Talk and TD Snap, they are not the same. Toby Dynavox's own region based interaction brings some important extra functionality to make eye tracking even easier. And secondly, Snap to Item hasn't been thoroughly tested in third party AAC apps, so you may still come across some anomalies. In summary, the update has provided much improved eye tracking access across the iPad operating system, improved access to a wealth of apps, including third party EC and AAC apps. Whilst we'd obviously much prefer you to be using TD Talk or TD Snap, we do recognise that sometimes people make choices based on the particular vocabulary system, a symbol set they need to use, or even the voice that they might have created through voice banking. So now, through these updates, users have choice. They can use the device they want to use and also the communication or environmental control system that they want to use. With new features like Snap to Item and Personal Voice, 
we think the time is perfect to look again at the incredible made for iPad TD Pilot. Contact your local Toby Dynavox rep for more details.